The Dudley Observatory is a 160-year-old organization. We were a research organization for many years, uh, a very important historical organization in this region and in the state. Um, we currently have a mission to provide education uh, in and about astronomy. Um, and we're currently housed here at the Museum of Innovation and Science. We have a large collection of um, library materials. We have rare books, artifacts, um, and we're currently working on a collaboration to provide more programming here at my site. Kids still ask questions about the moon, and ki kids still want to know what's up there. Um, and we need to answer those questions, and we can answer those questions even better than we ever did. There's a lot of power in what we can do in the out-of-school environment. The Challenger Center, though, takes students, pretty much the fifth through eighth graders, on simulated space missions. And we work on all the STEM subjects like science, technology, engineering, and math, but we also work on critical thinking, decision-making, teamwork, and problem-solving. Astronomy education gets kids excited. Uh, just about everybody's excited about the sky. Um, we came from the stars. Our bodies are made of elements from the stars. So when we study astronomy, we're learning something about ourselves and where we come from. So I think that astronomy is something whose, whose appeal is, is almost universal and goes beyond just what are the benefits of astronomy itself. Because once people get excited about astronomy, it's kind of like dinosaurs. It leads, it's a, it's a gateway science that leads to all kinds of things. So people will start off learning about planets and they might end up becoming engineers or, or doctors or even dentists. Uh, but they've, what they've done is they've developed an interest in the sciences and there's so much that you can learn from there. Uh, now that Dudley is housed within the museum, we do a lot more collaborative programming than we used to. Uh, so one program that we've been doing together is called Night Sky Adventures. And that's the third Tuesday of every month. And we've designed it to be a little bit more than just a star party. Uh, we come into the planetarium first. We look at the current night sky, talk about any current happenings like meteor showers or visible planets. We practice in here. Everyone gets a chance to use the pointer and look for patterns. Then, weather permitting, we go outside and then we look through the telescopes and binoculars and try to find some of those same things. I strongly believe in astronomy education for the sake of astronomy itself, but also because of where it leads. It leads to progress and imagination. Without imagination, you know, we don't have a reason to get out of bed in the morning and do the things that we do.